Okay, hello chess players. Uh, I'm going to be playing some Blitz games on the line. Uh, we got a three minute game. My opponent's rating is uh, 2097. Uh, so far we have a Sicilian, open Sicilian, uh, the queen d4 line. So I'm just going to play the main line. So I c6, bishop d5, bishop d7. Usually they take here. And then it's a question of c4 or knight c3. This guy's going for the c4 plan. I'm going to play the old line, which is just f5. And that's pretty much the extent of my theoretical knowledge. Uh, I know that f5 is a possible move. It's it's what we used to play back in the 90s. Um, we used to play this move all the time. So probably why he's spending a lot of time. He's probably not familiar with it. Uh, it's I don't know what the new theory. I don't know what the current theory is. I, I haven't played against this line in a long time. I know this was supposed to be okay. And black was supposed to be fine. That there wasn't supposed to be anything wrong with black's position after this. But I don't know. I don't know what the modern theory says is the right move against a move like f5. I'm not sure. I have to look it up. I don't know how much it's changed. I mean, maybe it hasn't really changed at all in the last however many years. Sometimes lines are like that. Sometimes they don't. They don't necessarily just change every week or whatever. You know, people say that about opening theory all the time. They say, oh, don't learn opening theory because it changes all the time. Well, um, I mean, maybe like move 30 or something changes all the time. But, you know, the first six or seven moves are usually the same. <laughs> Not a whole lot of changes there. Uh, but yeah, this seems like I got a solid enough position. I'd like to get rid of my bad bishop. I'm going to have two open files. So I'm going to have... Uh, Nice bishop versus a knight. I can exchange off at any point. I my pawn structure is a little bit of a mess, but my pieces are making up for it. My pieces are much nicer than my opponents right now. Uh, I guess I really just want to take, and then when he plays hg, I just want to play king e7. And then if he takes on h8, I take back with the rook. If he doesn't, I bring the other rook to f1 or something. Something simple. And then we just play shots. She might play b5. I don't. I'm not horribly scared of that move or anything. Uh, play there, which is actually a little frightening. I have to defend g6. Knight g6 check is a big threat. But, yeah, if he didn't come back right away, I could have made some progress. Um, hmm. Let's play Rick h5, because if he takes, he has to straighten my pawn. Right? It's kind of funny. I was hoping for that. Just kind of a general weakening. And we have this, and then bishop c6 should be winning. Kind of a dirty trick on my part, but it worked. <laughs> so, <laughs> black wins. <laughs> um, what was the theory here? You know, this is something I do when I play. I like to look at the game after. I like to look at it on the engine and see where I went wrong and what I did well. Um, so far, it says I only made the one inaccuracy. I'm curious what it was. Maybe it was F5. <laughs> the move that I was confident was theoretical. <laughs> um, no, I mean, F5 still pretty solid theory. Uh, scores incredibly well uh, over 100 games. I mean, a lot of people are playing Knight F6, which I guess is the computer better move, but F5 isn't terrible. And yeah, again, uh, my guy Ian the Pomodoro plays this with the black pieces. Uh, like I said, we share an opening repertoire. Uh, I had I had his opening repertoire before he did, so really, my opening, you know, I, I played all this stuff first, but every time I look up my openings, I see his name, so <laughs> Ian Nepomuche, always playing my, my preparation. Um, so anyway, so F5 uh, is decent. Uh, I guess Knight F6 is the, the book move here, so we got a bunch of games there, too. But yeah, certainly uh, we got some heavy hitters playing F5 as well, so still the main line and, and well after uh, the 90s, which is when I was playing this in the early 2000s, you know. 
So yeah, back then, the 97, you see it goes way, way back. Uh, so F5, and then we have there, and then E5 was correct. Okay, so so far I'm, I'm following everything I'm supposed to be doing. F takes E4, Knight takes E4, Knight F6 was correct. Uh, nothing bad here. We're still following uh, a lot of, we're still following the 1997 game. <laughs> this is why my theory is so good. <laughs> following those games from 97. They, they actually didn't play very bad back then. They played pretty good. So knight f6, uh, we have queen f6, gf6 was better. Whoa, who would have thunk that? I'm probably still following this game, though. Am I still following? Yeah, I'm still following this game. So <laughs> I'm still following the game from 97, even though it wasn't accurate. I, I'm surprised gf6 was better, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, you know, add another pawn to the middle, I guess. So bishop g5, uh, queen g6. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm giving myself away. All my theory is, uh, you know, 20, uh, over 20 years old. <laughs> 25 years old, give or take. Queen g6, h g6, uh, king e2, and, oh, we're still following this game. <laughs> bishop e7, bishop e3, who deviated first? Oh, bishop e3 was played. He finally deviated from the, uh, respected theory of this game from 1997. Uh, you know, the Rizaltis versus, uh, Boris of Rook game. We're following theory up till move 14, so, I mean, those people that tell you that it's a waste of time to study theory, I mean, look at this. We're, we're both still following a game from 1997. We followed it until move 14, so, you know, we didn't, neither one of us started playing chess until move 15, so. Uh, it, it's useful to learn theory. A lot of it lasts a, a long time. I mean, this is, you know, we're, we're both following a game that's like 20, you know, well over 25 years old, so just, just. Keep in mind, studying theory is important. So, uh, bishop takes g5, h takes g5, uh, king e7, b4, uh, rook here, everything's fine. Bishop e8, everything's fine. Rook h5 is best according to the engine. g4, and yeah, it gives my line. And game over. Where was my inaccuracy, I wonder? Because it gave me, oh, queen f6. Yeah, gf6 is better. So, queen f6, but it was the theoretical move. Uh, queen f6 was theoretical, but not apparently best. Apparently best was gf6. <laughs> Maybe I'll play that in the future. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new about chess. I uh, hope you can use some of these ideas in your own games. Uh, thank you very much for watching.